my name is Niranjan and welcome to another episode of Jump Box IQ where we teach you really simple science experiments that you can try at home. In today's episode we're going to be talking about the center of gravity in different objects and for this you're going to need a coin and a couple of balloons. Let's get down to this now. Start off by taking your your, your white balloon or any one balloon for, this, for that matter. Take your coin and stuff it into the balloon. Try not to let the balloon tear. Be a little careful about this. Now that your coin is inside the balloon, it's time to inflate it. And tie a knot. Now the next step is to take your other balloon inflated as well. Now toss both balloons into the air and try batting them around a couple of times. You'll notice that your blue balloon, that, that the balloon without the coin in it, it's easier to move whereas a balloon with the coin inside is not that easy to control. Now why is this? When you toss the balloon with the coin inside into the air, you can't exactly tell which way the balloon is going to go. This is because of the balloon's center of gravity. Now the center of gravity is where the majority of an object's weight is located. In the case of the empty balloon, it's leaning towards its mouth and in a ball, it's right at the center. But because the coin adds more weight to the balloon and doesn't stay in one place, the center of gravity is displaced. When, the gravity, when gravity pulls objects down, it acts on the center of gravity of an object. So if you know where the center of gravity of an object is, you can tell which way it's going to go as it falls. But because the center of gravity is changing in the balloon with the coin inside, it's hard to tell where it's going to go. When you're closer to the ground, you have a lower center of gravity, which is why race cars have such low floors. Having a low center of gravity lets them turn better because the chances of, chances of it flipping over are much less. This is exactly why you can bend much further when you're sitting down than compared to when you're standing up. Try this at home. Try leaning to the side while standing up and compare it to what happens when you're sitting down. Tell me what happens in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Champak IQ. My name is Niranjan. This was brought to you by Champak and One Network. Thank you so much and please subscribe.